So, what are you going to do now that you've graduated? Well, you know, I've still got quite a few years left in my 20s. I'm not really ready to find a job or settle down, so I'm just gonna, you know, live it up and do what I feel like in the moment, you know? Enjoy the ride. Uh, who's this over here? incredible job offer for you. It's where you can gain identity capital and you can use your weak ties to get it. It would be really super easy to do and you can get into it while you're in your 20s. Yeah, I'm not really looking for a job right now, so uh, come on! I'll come back to you when I grow up. Get you know? Man, like, I know you want to take a break in your 20s, but it seemed like a good opportunity. Yeah, I mean, there'll be plenty of those opportunities left when I'm, you know, I feel good and ready for it, man. I just, I don't want to settle down right now. I don't want to jump into a career and, you know, end up doing the same thing when I'm 40. I'd like to just live in the moment, you know? And I can worry about all those opportunities later. There's, wait, is that my girlfriend? I was just thinking that maybe we could move in together you know we have really compatible personalities and I just think it would be wise if we could combine our finances together to just start this beautiful next step in our relationship and maybe get married and maybe maybe have some furry furry babies and maybe some non furry babies too like real ones well uh that's a lot. Don't you think we're moving a little fast? No, like... babe! Our, our, our personalities, though! Yeah, I know we're both into Star Wars and all that, but um, I'm still in my early 20s, and, you know, I don't think I'm ready to settle down right now, so I think I'm just gonna keep going and see where the road takes me, you know? I'll call you tomorrow, babe! Yeah! Oh. Okay. So what was wrong, man? You two have been dating for about five years. Yeah, I mean, we have a lot of fun together and we've been together since we're in high school, but like, doesn't that scare you? Like when girls bring up marriage, you know? That's something I'm planning on doing when I'm like 30, but I'm 22, I've still got a lot of years ahead of me and I'm just trying to have fun and moving in together. She talked about babies, like those are steps that I'm not gonna worry about until I'm like, actually an adult. Oh, are you, there's another one of these people out here? Oh my God. Get out of the way. I'm trying to move forward with my life. Uh, all right, let's hear what you have to say. Can I tell you some awesome things you need to know about your brain and your body? I think this will be really, really useful for one day when you need to learn how to distinguish fact from the present and how there are sometimes negative circumstances and just how to look at the facts to overcome that and how to use your frontal brain instead of your more emotional brain and look at things like why you should focus on retirement maybe now in your 20s and you need to be thinking about fertility too because your wife's not going to have eggs forever. Like there, these are important things you need to know. Please let me talk to you. Whoa, okay. I don't have a wife. Uh, I'm a more artistic, passionate, emotional-minded person anyway. Facts aren't as important as you're making them sound. And so, uh, you know, I can worry about fertility and my body and the way my brain works when like, uh, maybe when I turn 30. No, 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 you, so, you, need to take, you need to take advantage of these opportunities in your 20s. I'm not planning on retiring no, no, please, anytime soon, to. so have a nice no, no, day. No, 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 no! <laughs> You know, man, she made some really good points. I think you're being a little bit obstinate. Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, I'm, I'm doing things my way, and I don't like that people keep jumping in front of my car and pressuring me to uh, do the things they think I should do. You know, I'm, I'm the one who decides where my life path is, and I'll do these things when I'm ready for them, all right? So many people, you know? You know? Actually, it's about time. I've got work, so uh, if you don't mind dropping me off up here. All right, man. I mean, yeah. I thought we were gonna go out tonight, but 
Guess if you're working, I'll just uh, I'll just head home. Well, thanks for the ride. I hope things turn out well for you. All right. How did I end up here all alone? Are, are all my opportunities already dead and buried and lost forever? Where have all my friends gone? I'm surrounded by a sea of death! Well, I hope those opportunities are still there for me. I don't want to end up here. I'm going to go back and see if I can find them. I guess I'll go hear out what they have to say. This is the same spot, but where is everybody? Did all of my opportunities vanish? Am I all alone with nowhere to go? You're back. I, I thought you were gone forever. I am the ghost of work past. If you had taken my advice when I gave it to you, you would have been your career, well into your career now. You wouldn't be working at an entry level job and you would be very happy. I am the ghost of relationships past, love's past. And if you would have realized that we don't only have things in common, but our personalities are also in common, that together we could have accomplished anything. And I am the ghost of the brain and body's past. If you would have taken advantage of me and learned how to manage your emotions and use your frontal brain more than your emotional brain, along with planning for the future and looking at the now and how that affects your future, your future would have been really, really good, but you missed that opportunity. But it's not all over, right? I can still learn from these mistakes. I can still take advantage of these opportunities in the future. Yeah! Exactly. Yeah! Definitely! I'm still in my 20s. You can do it! You can do it! There but will be, be more of you out there! There are! Woo! Hello. So, I realize I still have a lot more to learn about myself and about planning for my future. So, can you please help me? Yeah, way to take advantage of this opportunity. I was just sitting here. Way to just go for it. Um, well, some things you need to know about your brain and body. First off, in your 20s, your frontal lobe is still developing, so sometimes it's easier to use your emotional brain rather than your thinking brain when presented with a not-so-great um, like situation, you know? So just back off for a second and think about the facts. Think about how you can handle this situation by just looking at the facts and not by using your emotions immediately. And then another thing, you need to set up a timeline because if you're age 60 and one of your goals was to climb all the mountains in the world, you're not really gonna be able to do that at age 60 or 70. So that's something you should plan to knock out earlier in life. And then another thing, like fertility. I know that might not seem pressing in your 20s, but like your wife's not gonna have eggs forever. So that might be, if you're planning on having kids, that needs to be something you discuss and you are thinking about in your 20s. Um, because if you get to age like 30, 35, 40, 45, it becomes significantly harder to have children. So these are just questions and things you need to be thinking about now rather than later when they're already gone. You're right. I should start planning and I should start climbing. So you remember how I was telling you that I had this time where I was pushing all these opportunities away and mm -hmm. ignoring my future? Well, I made a lot of mistakes, but I've been learning recently, and I think that our relationship is a great opportunity that I would like to take advantage of. Cool. I'm really glad that you decided that. I mean, I think that we really mesh well together. Our mm -hmm. personalities just go very well. We make decisions in the same way, mm -hmm. and I feel like this is really working. I agree, and uh, with the way our communication goes, I feel like we can communicate through conflict and plan for a future very well. And so. I would like to really commit to you in this relationship and take it to the next level. I would like to commit to you too. I think we should really discuss moving in together. Yeah, I, I agree. I think that we would have a great time together and help each other plan for our future, but this is something that we should really consider okay. and do right because I want us to have a long future together. Absolutely, me too. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey 
Hey there. It's good to see you. It's been good a while. To see you. It's been a while, yeah. So, I've been thinking about what you said, and okay. I've been passing by a lot of opportunities recently, and hmm. I don't want to end up alone. So, I would like to ask if there's a job opening at your company, if you'll have me. Well, it's nice to hear you say that. In fact, there is. You know, you're an artist, and I know doing ads was never really your thing, but I feel like it might be a great place for you to start. We just lost one of our ad, art, one of our artists that composed our ads, and so I thought maybe it'd be a great place for you to start in the artistic world. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it does. I can use what I learned in school, so. And it might open a nice door for you. Yeah. yeah. Well, Thank you for this opportunity, and uh, I hope we can get a I can get an interview with your boss soon, and we can get to work. Oh yeah! All right, thank you. Am I all alone, with nowhere to go? Ah! <laughs>